I cannot explain you in details uh, or wood torrefaction process because the preparation of the wood for torrefaction and certain steps, certain, certain roasting stages uh, are parts of the secrets of Boucher guitars. Okay. So this being said, uh, here is what I can tell you. First of all, it's very important to know that the wood are mainly made from two components. The first is the cellulose. The second is the hemicellulose. And the third is the lignin. The cellulose and the hemicellulose are the wood fiber. Okay, and I'll name them the good and the ugly. The lignin is a natural polymer. Okay, it's like a glue. Okay, and I will nickname it the bad. Every cabinet maker, every luthier dreams of, uh, of a lignin free wood because the lignin is the cause of the wood movements the lignin reacts really badly okay when when the wood is surrounded by an environment below 50% of humidity the lignin to e extract the humidity inside the wood. It should be the opposite, but it's not the opposite. Okay, so when the humidity is higher than 50%, the lignin tries to absorb that humidity. So that's why the, the wood moves like that. But I'm sure that you realized that an old barn lumber board, you know, the grayish board, that kind of boards do not move anymore. Why? It's because the lignin disappeared. So the lignin years after years disappears and disappears. 20, 30 years later, there's no lignin inside the wood. And what we have to understand is the lignin is a kind of glue, like I said, a, a kind of, of, of polymer, so there's no sound properties, properties in, that, in that components. The sound properties are cellulose and hemicellulose. So, in 2008, I learned that the torrefaction process breaks the lignin inside the wood. But the generic recipe, the mage, the, the cellulose and the hemicellulose as well. So, it's no, it's no good for a luthier. So I asked Farintec, the research and development department at Université Laval of Quebec. I asked the teachers there to help me to develop a torrefaction recipe in order to break the lignin without damaging the wood fiber, without damaging the cellulose and the hemicellulose. And we realized together, in order to manage to create that kind of recipe, I had on my side to prepare the wood before the torrefaction process. It took one year and a half to come up with a recipe. So I had to uh, stabilize the wood, prepare the wood, 
put it in the torrefaction oven and find the good temperature because the usual, usual recipe, the temperature is so high. So we reduced the temperature and we let the wood inside the oven for a longer time. And in that way, we broke the lignin, but the cellulose and the hemicellulose stayed at 100% uh, good. So, using that wood on acoustic guitar is like a dream because the instrument is the stability. The stability of the, the instrument is way more uh, good. We just have to try a really good vintage guitar. And we, we realize that the guitar sounds better than a, an exactly same guitar made by the same builder. Uh, you know, a brand new guitar. Why? It's because the lignin is not there. And the wood fiber, the cellulose and the hemicellulose are now together. No interference caused by the lignin. The torrefaction process artificially aged the wood for 20, 30 years. And it works. And it works.